So yes, finally, finally, finally! So of course I'm back from the real quick. Uh, of course, I'm talking about a video, so of course, we have the next um, June campaign pretty much for JP at this point. Um, I didn't prepare for going into this video at all. Um, this morning I was really tired this morning at the time of recording. Um, I did do the video for, um, what should we call it? The um, new units I get, EZA's Meta Cooler, and of course, my Caprizza. Um, not bad, even. It's actually really, really good. Um, excellent. Yeah, a little bit. I think it's fine. We should be fine. But yeah, of course, uh, we got the new info, of course, for the celebration and everything, of course. Um, not bad for celebration this time around. Um, hey, like I said, I did go for Mega Freeze and King Cold. For the physical Mega Freeze of, like, the ages ago, Super Strike event, and of course, the Ink Medical War. That was in battle for a fucking long time. Good luck with that easy, because that, you need a lot of battlefield points for that. And of course, the Tech Game Force also was from getting easy in the celebration. And on top of that as well, um, in going to freeze the game is easy to celebration. I just uh, it makes sense because of course freeze it makes sense because freeze is over. Not freeze it. it makes sense. Resurrection F freeze the golden freeze up. I know it's from like you know the uh, Terminator power, but that's another one. Again, that shocked me kind of, and I was like, oh yeah, he is getting easy next. I thought it was gonna go on. Then of course, um, next should be um, next legitimately should be a physical super video. Though. He should be the next easy I can up for on. Um, this, um, the next celebration, pretty much. I uh, was next? Tenabata after this, probably? That's like a whole month long celebration. Oh, yeah. Tenabata and Global having an anniversary at the same time. July is gonna be a busy and crazy month, and that's usually my bad luck month, and that's just recording. HG Double Hockey Sticks. That's straight up just messed up there, though. But yeah, um, again, though, um, a lot of good stuff in the celebration, actually. Of course, we got World Tournament, and I think. Okay, that was really weird. Uh, let's go to Black right here. Um, should be getting his um awakening this so um this one, either him or I think physical Bojack probably. I think maybe the tech, the, the int cleaf like tech kale. Well, I think Zuko Kabak should be next. I don't know. I just had to bring him up though because I, I again Zuko Kabak has been in the game for so long. Literally like when the tech uh, uh, my brain's like all over the right now. When the tech um was it. Um, it was Tech. Um, go Frieza and Goku from the Thunder Power when they first came out, when they first got leaked for the LR. Whew, his guy was alongside them as well. I think also the HL Goku from that Kalkin Blue Goku event. The ASTR when that guy was awakening like last year. He was a good too. Um, was last year or was this one twenty? Hey, they just, just fused kind of together. It's like, oh my gosh, I did like this video so long ago. It's crazy. But yeah. I'm gonna go for celebration for really quick. Shouldn't take too too long. Um, first off, um, yeah, again that realized it was on token info.com. But of course, login bonus, special missions, typical stuff. I say beer that beer's asset looks new, apart from the story event. It looks like a story event asset right there. It's definitely a story event asset. It looked like hard art, but it looked like a new asset right for beer. So I just know that. That's kinda cool. Um, what else do we have on here? Logo bonus special missions. Yeah, we know what they're doing. As that resurrection F in two brothers in the super superhero movie. Oh, we get that reference. We get that reference. You know, this takes place like where did this, you know, this movie takes, you know, Broly and stuff like that. So it makes sense. Blue Goku's um, banner, slash Vegeta's banner, of course, New Doku Fest event, uh, Dragon's Own Sales, uh, Odokai banner on 17th, we should be getting, again, there's always 17th, 16th, 15th. The right going to be the part to LR. Everybody speculating Golden Pizza from the um, movie poster banner, which definitely does make sense just because of um, the Goku and Vegeta are, are, are cards are literally from the poster of when this movie got revealed. It's literally a card from the poster, so we should see that Golden Frieza. Which I already know gonna be like, I think I have a Golden Frieza thumb already made, but I didn't I don't really like it. I gotta do a new one. Um Yeah, I find like I, I might you know use Legends assets anyway, every other mom does it. Whew, that's gonna be so cool. But yeah. Um Yeah, should I make what do assets show you some legends? There's a lot of Golden Frieza assets. I remember you determine the power one for when the ant one gets easy. I just thought of that actually. Holy crap. Holy cow, I just thought of that. Using the ant, the um, the, I think was it green? Golden Frieza? Or purple, whatever. I'm um, sparking one that just came out legend the long, like a couple months ago. Oh yeah, my like, Sakara, baby. <laughs> but yeah, 
Uh, Mega Freeze, of course, getting an easy A, we, like an easy A, I already went over that already in a separate video. That video should be up before this one. Uh, story events and stuff like that, Battlefield is coming back up, so getting another new awakening from that. Uh, yeah, story events stuff. I think Golden Freeze is getting an easy A, we'll talk about that in a couple minutes. It looks like he's weak against Universal for Power Saga, it seems like at this time around. Um, not bad. Um, pretty simple, pretty easy. Um, this event's coming back, Techie Youth versus getting their easy A. This is just a part of their card. These are like, not even new, new units, it's just part of the use card right here. Um, really real one, they kind of really came out of nowhere, honestly. And I was like, holy crap. Of course, getting into a certain issue to the Battle Royale stage, probably maybe focusing on them. Or just in general, that's new one for the celebration. I can't remember which one it was, though. You know, of course, sorry, uh, events for World Tournament coming back here over this. A new World Tournament card again. We should be getting a new LR, probably sooner than later. Because um, I know Tau's been up for a long time, so I'm thinking it's like, yeah, new LR, pretty much. And he's usually in the June slot, too. Yeah, the June, July, summer slot. Yeah, usually, yeah, that's kind of thought of that, because I think Tau was announced. We seen that's like in the summer, I think. I came up with the Tech Gohan. I gotta look up when that Gohan came out. They were going from the, not the filler arc, the self games filler arc. I gotta think about that. That's crazy. I really gotta think about that. That's really insane. Um, they came out around the same time. Of course, they gave Mighty Max too. That physical, that, is it physical Mighty Max? They got Awakening? You heard about these as well, though, so yeah. Of course, we got the day I downloaded from last night. Again, new deck is coming up as well. Uh, this is the SSR for Goku. Just the new Goku and Vegeta. Um, it's mainly just a like Goku unit that actually swapped to Vegeta. The links don't change at all. Which makes sense, because again, everything would change on that Vegeta. It would be utterly insane to link level grind them. Meta Cooler right here, getting his easy A again. Those Battlefield Metals, you're getting a lot of those. And for Global right now, stack up those as much as you can. Again, Global, grind and stack up as much as you can, because that is going to be an insane easy A grind. Plus, the physical Gini Force, at times recording, just come out tonight, slash today for Global. But I'm going to win. Again, timing's weird and stuff like that. I'm going to get the Gini Dark Defense event for Global um, tonight. Yeah, the 30th. Then, of course, 31st slash, you know, next day, whatever, we're gonna get that as well. So, I'm gonna go for that celebration info when that comes out. I already know I'm gonna do that anyway. Mega Freeze is not that bad either. Really good wiggle bloodline and runs back that support, um, Warrior support. Um, this was the end Golden Freeze, his info. Yeah, for him, who, oh boy, there's a lot to do. Um, yeah, we already know that's probably not gonna change. That would probably be like, what, 150 right there? 160, 170. How's that? Oh, that's gonna be like, what, 190 probably? 180? Oh yeah, cause he had this one of his leader skills. His H HP sucked, but the... No, 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 he's one of, the, yeah, he's one of his leaders back in the day. Um, HP, attack defense, attack defense 170 was good, and the HP was um, 130. So that might be, what, 150? 190? 180? This one will probably be like, what, 100% probably. Because when he first came out, he was actually really, really good. I remember a lot of people saw on his banner and stuff like that. I think he has the potential to be really good easy day. Again, I this will be Physical Super Vegito, because again, Ultima Gohan, then this guy, then Physical Super Vegito were pretty much all next in the lineup for getting easy day. So it definitely does make sense why this one's coming next, though. But otherwise, this is going to be probably pretty good. I think this is going to be really good easy day. I'll probably give him some more attack and defense, probably like, what, 170, 100 100% maybe. Super Cast Allies, so that'll probably be like 20% probably. Yeah, they got, they're gonna probably make this guy broken because they made this a lot easier, like this disgusting again. When we first came out, he was just like tanking. I think they tank well, they can tank pretty decently. The defense stat doesn't seem that bad though, for the prediction to say it and stuff like that. So, like max HP and stuff like that. Um, not bad, like, not bad actually, really good. Um, but yeah, I think going back over the Goku and Vegeta, I think Goku was pretty alright, like, doing super tech wise. This gives up a lot of key, a lot of attack defense. I think I'm up here and stuff. Um, but yeah, um, I didn't think Goku was that bad. I think Vegeta's really good. He's like ATL Pycon pretty much. That's what I kind of get him as. I think he's get aged pretty well. Like, you know, again, SA animations are kind of like wonky in there. Like, I probably could move to like. Actually, yes, I did actually upload the SA animations. There you guys go. Um, a little late though, because I didn't know. So I was like, it was like late at night, I think, when I uploaded that. And I was like, oh crap, I was like, I need to upload this really fast. But yeah, um, but yeah, though, um, Amazing Blue Skull, Blue Skull, I love how good Chris has. He gives himself a lot of attack and defense. And basically, needs to protect to get him up. And Vegeta does credit for more and more orbs. Again, like I said, PyCon. Again, he's really easy to get transformation only after four turns. If you have him on the same rotation, Goku and Vegeta on the same rotation, on the same team, 
when you have like a friend and stuff like that. I think that's gonna be a really deadly cool combination. Again, Link's kind of suck a little bit. Categories are really good. Um, I think no, the Link's don't suck. Just throws a rush enough. They could at least open a flash shot and speed there. I think truth of that in his video when I saw his video. I think I agree with that. I, think, I was thinking like maybe open a flash. Maybe shot and speed could have worked. I don't know. They can't easily get that. Um, but yeah, even Jacko's pretty good. I think it's gonna be really good for like allied of justice teams and stuff like that, like for like secret Sandman teams and little stuff like that. I think it's gonna be a potential good unit there. Um, Mega Frieza and King Cole, uh, Mega Frieza and Meta Cooler, Meta Cooler. Um, again, Frieza is really good. Wiggle Ball and support, Resurrected Warrior support. Disgusting, disgusting. A lot of attack and defense. And he just keeps going and going, going. And the more Q you have, the better, the stronger it gets. I love that so much. The Frieza is really good. Honestly, probably one of the best super strikes probably I've seen so far. Again, going back to like Mighty Mask, his links, he's good, but his links are gonna kind of suck. He blew me out of the water. Six teams could probably be a really good team on Android teams. This race isn't that bad either. I think he's really good. He's gonna be really, really good. I think he could be on potentially a lot of good teams in the future. I, I, I think I see a lot of people, people wanting him if you don't have any other support. Because again, we'll look at Bloodline, Resurrected Warriors kind of blending with each other a little bit. But then on top of that as well, um, they the same kind of blend in together, and you're not gonna probably run this guy. But if you're gonna use him, you can. If you don't have any other choices, he's a really good dumb unit. You get super strikes always take forever to grind that, so yeah. But you get most from, like missions and during the event anyway. Meta cooler they didn't change him that much. They gave him more official life from support. That's all you had to really do for him. Otherwise, he was already good. He, he does a lot of additional attacks. He, you give him a crit, you got to cut a lot. He, he's he does he's good. Again, they only came like this. That's all they needed for him. That's all they really needed for him. And also, this easy kind of came out of nowhere, like I said. Um, really, really out of the blue nowhere. So yeah, um, for them, I was talking about it again. They came out at the same time, around the same time, at, same time as um the um not physical, but I really don't know what to say though for them. It's really hard to say because I think they're good. They'll probably be like their physical counterpart. Again, like I said, let me go back to celebration. I thought I think it was this. I don't want to The easy event. Because again, it's probably going to be like the, um, it's probably going to be structured like the, um, whatchamacallit. But like the androids, kind of like, you know, you get metals via the mission that you do the whole easy area event and stuff like that. If I got to use, the, um, all the game force, easy aid them, get them 100%. Um, you're going to probably gonna see, not really LR campaign probably, but this is going to be a regular event though. Um, they usually do like a whole LR campaign with it. Or go for, you know, easy and new units or, Again, it'd probably be the whole game force, probably. Even probably the physical one, if you can use them. But they take a long time to use it, and they're not really a free play unit, and they really use free play units for a lot of these events. But in general, I think overall, um, as I'm saying this, um, I think the middle will be really easy, though, because again, the end game was really good. If I could use maybe other game force units as well, otherwise, that team is going to be disgustingly broken, you can destroy it, though. But otherwise, um, I think they're going to probably end up like the. Um, they're gonna end up like the physical one. The physical one's really so good on support. They probably when they first came out when they first came out, I think originally my thoughts were like they kind of feel very, very similar. Like very, very, very similar. And looking back over the info for this video, there doesn't seem as well. But I think they're gonna be end up being like the physical one. Again, they give themselves key for all no, they give themselves attack and defense. I think like 45% or 35% for extreme class. And for Game Force, they, they give them 35%. They get their villain and Game Force support at the same time. To give them key pretty much intact defense, maybe like, again, like I said, they make them pretty much the physical Game Force. But yeah, everything I want to kind of cover and go cover and go over in the video today. Again, not a bad celebration. A lot of easy A's. The LR Metal Cooler, Metal, Metal Cooler, really good. Physical Meta, um, Mecha Frieza, amazing. Uh, Goku and Vegeta aren't that bad. I think Vegeta's gonna be like, um, we swap out to him. He'll probably be more AJ Pycon, and Goku's gonna be probably more, um, um, just give himself a lot of attack defense. Jack is really good for like, gonna be really good for like, you know, like, uh, Justice Teams if you really wanna go that far, but I just need running that team anyway. The Tech Gene Force will probably honestly be like the physical one, and Golden Freezer's EVA. Again, a lot of ECAs in the celebration. They are not holding back in the celebration. Again, calm before a storm for Tanabata, and that is gonna be a great celebration. So yeah, see you guys later though. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day, guys. Right? Right. 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 So we'll see you guys watching this. God bless all of you. Out on our mats. I'm talking for real YouTube. Best thing to again, go outside, tell some guys, watch TV, do something with your life. I'm just kidding though, of course. Play some Spider-Man. That's what I do every single day. Play Xenoverse 2. Come on, guys. We need Xenoverse 3 push. Come on, we need that partner push for Xenoverse 3. Come on, guys. So we got to think about all of them, but of course, like, do it again. 
very simple, really easy and fun stuff like that, like I said. Again, it's campaign, a lot of easy days, a lot of good stuff in the celebration. Craziness, craziness, craziness. But yeah, see you guys in the video, you know. Peace out.